still apart but optimistic. That is the tone from Congress congressional leaders really after a meeting with the president on the debt ceiling negotiation. Both sides say default is not an option, so that means everyone is going to have to compromise. KPRC 2's Candace Burns is live in the newsroom with the newest information. Candace. Well, Keith, over the last week, the sense of optimism that a deal can be reached has continued to grow. And now we're hearing it from all sides of these negotiations. But time is running short. President Biden heading overseas as a cloud of doubt hangs over Washington. And before I leave, I wanted to say a word about the status of negotiations. Fresh off a meeting with top congressional leaders, President Biden today is saying say he's confident a deal will be reached. And we're going to come together because there's no alternative we to do the right thing for the country. Democratic leaders acknowledging that a deal to increase the nation's borrowing limit will include spending cuts, but lawmakers have just two weeks to act before risking a catastrophic default. We now have a time problem. If the government is unable to pay its bills, Social Security checks, tax refunds, and veterans' benefits could all be delayed. One of the remaining sticking points is a Republican push to add tougher work requirements for some federal aid programs that Congress Democrats in the White House oppose. While the president is in Japan for the G7 summit with top U.S. allies, his team of aides will continue negotiations with Republicans. Mr. President, stop hiding. Stop traveling somewhere else. America wants an American president focused on American problems, finding American solutions. We have them here for you. The president cutting his overseas trip short, skipping planned stops in Australia and New Guinea, and returning to Washington on Sunday to continue negotiations. Democrats are also trying to apply pressure. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer is meeting Wednesday with CEOs from the nation's largest banks. He's asking them to press Republicans to find bipartisan compromise. Live in the newsroom, Candace Burns, KPRC 2 News. We will see how that goes, Candace.